something really ridiculous, okay? This is a Methodist University. A white college student who belongs to a sorority decided to make a presentation to talk about how ugly black people are. I kid you not. Uh, this is a real presentation. Um, a white college student at Methodist University has come under fire after doing a PowerPoint presentation on what features she finds ugly using only pictures of black students on the school's football team. Here's the graphic, let me put that back up. It's a damn shame. According to the Instagram account, Fayetteville Hip Hop, the female student put on the presentation in the dining hall and mentioned characteristics such as big nostrils, dreads, and big lips as ugly. And once again, she highlighted her fellow college students to do this. She used photographs of black students on the football team to detail her argument and also used photos of white students over the years as a comparison for attractiveness. So black, ugly, white, attractive, black, big nose, dreadlocks, big lips, unattractive, all of these white people, highly attractive. This happened on a university campus. The account says the student's name is Taylor and that she is a member of Alpha Data Pi. That's a sorority on campus. Both Taylor's Instagram and the sorority's Instagram have been disabled. Sorority has now been suspended. The student, Taylor, sent a statement to a member of the football team she referred to in the presentation. So let me read this statement in full, okay? Hello. First off, I want to apologize to you and your entire family. I did not mean for any of this to be targeted towards individuals and certainly did not mean any of this in a malicious way. So let me just pause there, okay? I don't know how you did not mean it to be targeted toward an individual when literally you decided to fully prepare and edit and get pictures. You know how hard it is to make a damn PowerPoint presentation. You don't you don't accidentally make a PowerPoint presentation. She put time, energy, effort, research and everything into this. It continues, I am beyond sorry and I understand that it does not make up for it. This situation is being handled by the school and I am fully aware how my actions cause pain to others and I will accept full responsibility, the punishment that is decided with this matter with the school. Again, I am truly sorry and did not mean for this to hurt anybody. And it was not targeted at African Americans in any way. Let's put up the graphic again. Let's, okay, she says that was not targeted to African, African Americans. Now remember the context, all of the black people ugly. And then she made another pre presentation, all of the white people attracted. But in her apology, she says she did not mean to hurt anyone. It was not targeted at African Americans in any way. I can promise that. Again, I am very sorry and will be accepting responsibility for my actions. Um, let's just say for the sake of argument, what she says is true. I don't believe it. I think she is remorseful that she got caught. I don't think what she's saying in this half baked apology is true. But let's say it is true. Let's say she decided to do this really insensitive, highly racist thing and she is not aware of her racism. Well, that's called implicit bias. What is implicit bias? Research on implicit bias suggests that people can act on the basis of prejudice and stereotypes without intending to do so. The definition doesn't fit what she did. You mean to tell me that literally you talked about black people you put pictures up of only black people. You then refer to traits that you attribute to only black people. And then you made the comparison to whiteness as attractive and these black people as unattractive. You mean to tell me that you are engaging in implicit bias, not intentional bias, um, by using your basis of prejudice saying that it's not connected to race. It's a ridiculous apology. And it's a ridiculous reality that we're living in. Um, we're gonna continue to follow that story, but naturally, 
um, the institution has a lot to answer for as well. All right.